Hi, I'm Dr. Supano Chakrabarti. Um, I am a doctor of blood diseases or what you uh, call hematologist or hemato-oncologist. I started my career in um, this particular discipline uh, way back in uh, the early 90s. And uh, I am currently working at Dharamshila Narayana Hospital and heading the department of uh, hematology over here. I will quote a great person when I am starting my next topic, which is how do we cure leukemia or acute leukemia to be precise. Professor Shimon Slavin, who had sort of indirectly inspired me because I have never been his direct uh, fellow or his student but I had followed his work since the late 80s and early 90s on how he developed the approach to cure leukemia in mice models. What he did through various uh, mice models was to show that actually those are the immune cells which are killing the leukemia, which are curing the leukemia. You can uh, reduce the burden of disease as I told you that you can reduce it to below one cell in a million but still you will have a million leukemia cells in the body. So who is taking care of those uh, residual leukemia cells? Are those the chemotherapeutic drugs which you are giving in continuation? Partly yes, but no amount of chemotherapy or radiotherapy can eliminate the last cancer cell in a body. That is why in solid organ cancers or solid tumors, you are seeing a new concept of immunotherapy coming up. But as hematologists, we have known it for the last 40 years. Now what do we do about it? That is where the concept of allogenic bone marrow transplantation came in. That what can't be cured with chemotherapy completely, what can't be taken care of by patients' own immune cells has to be cured or eliminated by someone else's immune cells. Now what is that? Even after all treatment, a sizable number of patients of various blood cancers would have a relapse or the disease would come back. Now why is that? We have done all sorts of sophisticated tests to, to make sure that the disease is not there. But it still comes back maybe six months, maybe one year, maybe two years, maybe three years down the line. Why does it happen? Because the immune system of the patient has not been able to eliminate the last cancer cell. And this is the last mild concept, the last cancer cell concept, which is very important. Now, who does that job? It is our own immune system. How do we get cured with chemotherapy? The job of chemotherapy is to reduce the tumor burden, burden or the leukemia burden to the least possible level. And then it is up to the immune system to take care of the rest. When it fails, we have a relapse. When we have a relapse, we have to depend on someone else's immune system. Or when we can see that the disease is not controlled, as, we, as I told you, that we diagnose by minimal residual disease detection, that you are having persistent uh, minimal residual disease after treatment, after treatment, after treatment. It just indicates that no, this disease is not going to go away on its own. So whether it's because of that or whether because it's not responded or whether because it's responded and it's coming back, we need to borrow an immune system. And borrowing an immune system is the concept of allogenic bone marrow transplantation.